examples, that stuff's as old as time. False. It's a very recent invention. The whole Disney ideal, this whole idea of romantic love being it, that's a new thing over the last 200 years. Okay, And we need to, we need to understand that. He said, romantic love is a Western invention, an invention that we have created, a near obsession, um, supposedly the key to all happiness. For C.S. Lewis, the invention of romantic love um, was far more momentous for our development than the Protestant Reformation. So you can disagree with that. Okay, we, we can go back. We're not, we're not going to necessarily argue the merits of that. Why does nothing erase? So now I'm having to spritz the board. It's a salon here. What'd you say? I'm sure it was funny. Just black girls. There was a stage where I put spritz in my hair, I think, when I had hair. Well, I thought, I don't know what it, what it was. No. I had, I'd always gel up, though. I was, I was gelling. Yeah. Do I cut myself? Yeah, like, on like Nine Inch Nails songs? Like cut myself? No, no. I'm not even. A I'm not even answering. Okay, write this down maybe at the bottom of the first page. We're back, we're back, we've got the hair thing figured out. At the bottom of this first page, make a, make a note for yourself, okay? The biggest thing that has shaped us today, according to C.S. Lewis, is the idea of romantic love equaling love. The biggest idea that has shaped us today according to C.S. Lewis is the idea of romantic love equaling love. Did you get that, Luis? You wrote it down? Awesome. I'm just asking. Yeah. They did. Gracias. If you watch any movie on love, well, not any movie, but 99% of the movies or Disney things or whatever else that, that, that kind of are the, the things of our culture... Once two people fall romantically in love, it's over. And they, live happily ever after. they live happily ever after. Exactly. Okay, that's it. That's the end because it's assumed by us today that once you are romantically in love, that is love. Okay? As a result of this invention of romantic love, this guy is saying, we Westerners have come to think that the central fire of human happiness is romantic love. Love forever and ever. Imagination ends with the romantic couple walking hand in hand across the fields towards the sunlight. Many people spend their entire lives looking for such love, wanting to feel such love, 
wondering when they are first attracted to another if that's what they're now feeling. Above all, most people love being in love. They love the feeling of love. They love the mad passion of love. This is especially true, I think, for young girls who are brought up in this Disney culture to think a certain way, to want that. The problem is, is this. We know the church teaches this, and we're going to continue to talk about this. Every marriage, every relationship, even if it's a priest with the church, which is a different type of marriage, but a, still considered a marriage in some ways, everyone, in a year and a half to two years in, romantic love wears off. No matter how beautiful the two people are, no matter how happy they were at the beginning, and it never happens until you've married. <laughs> that's the other thing that's important to understand. If you are still dating, the romantic love is still there. Because why? Because to some extent, you are both pretending. You are, I'm acting in a certain way. I'm not doing it on, on purpose, but I'm acting in a certain way that will still not offend the other person. Now, so that doesn't say that, that's not to say that people who are dating don't always fight or that, you know, that there's not issues. But you are not your 100% completely honest self when, until you have entered into that marriage and you both feel completely safe that the other person's not walking away. When that happens, you've, you've stood in front of God and everyone else and said, I promise for the rest of my life, no matter what this person does, I'm not leaving. When both people have done that, usually within about a year to two years, you see the other person for who they are. You see the real other person, and they see the real you. And romantic love is gone. No matter how beautiful you are. People in Hollywood all the time, those beautiful people in the world, their marriages last even quicker. Because this wears off. Romantic love wears off. We know that. You know that, I think if you think about it, but society is telling us over and over again, it's not. Don't worry about it. Romantic love is love. Fall in love. And if you're not feeling in love, then you should get divorced because something's going wrong. You're not getting what you deserve. You deserve Ariel. You deserve beauty from the Beauty and the Beast. You deserve that. And now this person that you've married is a jerk because you're not getting that and it's not love. Love is dead. Divorce. Leave. The same thing happens for priests. I'm a year and a half or two years in, and I can tell you that all of a sudden something happens where you kind of look around and you see your bride, the church, you see the people in the church for who they are, and it starts to look a little different. It's not, oh, it's Father. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, I'm your sa I'm, uh, you know, Father, your homilies are so great. We love your homilies. Thank you for hearing our confessions. Thank you for being our here. We, you're just great. You're so happy. We love looking at you because you're just so alive and, and you're just the best priest ever, Father. That wears off after a while. And people start, you, you preach a homily on abortion. And people are suddenly like, why'd you do that? I don't want to hear that. You challenge someone. And now you're not the nice guy that every, all of a sudden their image of you as priest, as the ideal priest, is shattered. They look at you different. You look at them different. They were always giving you praise or whatever. And then all of a sudden some of, you start to get some complaints about things. It's the same thing that happens in marriage. Now, yes, Justine. Yes. Um, I don't want to bring up like anything that's going to be... Bring it on. What is it? Um, I looked at your blog. I've looked at it a couple times. And yes. I enjoy reading the comments that people leave. Yes. And um, there's a guy, and he's from Ron Colley, I think. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like he always just like tries to contradict everything that you're even saying. And I mean, I understand that it's his opinion and he can say it, but he's on your case a lot. Like, what's his deal? Do you know? 
I mean, he's yes, I know. Uh, there's, there's, that's that's the great thing about the blog is that there's a chance for people to to have dialogue, um, and he leaves comments. I think, I think he's he's being honest. I mean, he's really operating out of an atheistic mm -hmm. thing. I mean, he's not just like trying to become famous. I mean, he's really kind of operating out of that, and I respect that. I mean, I'm happy to um, to deal with that. I don't really consider him as being somebody in the church. He probably doesn't either. So that's not as that's not as much of a difficulty. I expected that. It's always that, you know, married couples expect resistance from people outside the marriage. What's the hard part is dealing with all of a sudden you realize that you married a monster. You married someone that you had no this person he never did that before or she never did that before. Now we're married. That's when it gets tough. So it's for me it's a priest it's when somebody who is is really in the church that does something. That's what's hard for me all of a sudden to be like, you know, that's that's the difficulty, I think. Yeah, but no, good question. Other thoughts or comments? Questions, concerns? Yes, Alicia. Okay, so then, are you, you going to talk about like the resolutions, like how you're supposed to deal with it? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay. We're getting there. I just want to, first of all, we got to say, hey, let's make sure we understand that romantic love is a thing that's been invented in the last 200 years and has not always been understood to be the end all of everything. I mean, I, I really believe this is why the divorce rate is over 50% right now in our country. Because people are expect. it's not that people are, are bad people now all of a sudden. It's that people have been sold this lie that romantic love is love. Well, it's always going to leave. <laughs> it's always going away. And, and what you have to do is learn to fall in love again with the person and realize what real love is, which is what we're going to be talking about. What does the church, what does the church teach as being real love? Not this. It doesn't teach romantic love. So we're going to have to look at what does the church th say about authentic love, okay? which is the resolution. This happens no matter what. Okay, no matter who you are, you're going to be romantically in love. You wouldn't marry the person in the first place. Who'd you marry? Oh, I ma married some she monster. Um, she's hideous, and I can't stand being around her, but what? No, romantic love is going to be there. That's, going to, that's what pulls you together initially. Right? It's not bad to be romantically in love. To be that like almost like intoxicated with love, you see, you, you, know, you see it in your friends or whatever when they first fall in love. Maybe even in yourself, right? Oh, that person, she, she or he is, he cannot do anything wrong. Like, it is amazing. Like, he, he just knows exactly what I need, or she knows exactly, she's the answer to my prayers, that kind of stuff, right? That brings us together, all right? And then we're together, and then we start really trying to figure out what love means, okay? So, um, Let's, uh, let's take a break, actually, right now, and then we'll come back and finish our... Just keep looking at authentic love. What is real love? It's like some cartoon that they, that they, get, that they made up with it. It looks like South Park, but it's not. South Park? When I was in college, I'm ashamed to say it. Yeah, you can turn the lights off. Okay, so we're going to answer Alicia's question. Doctor, no, no. Doctor, can we get the lights? Okay, we're going to watch a couple film clips real quick. All right, to uh, continue, continue thinking about um, what love. Is we're going to be diving into that. 
Pretty soon we're going to start talking about marriage. Uh, my brother and his.